Welcome back to another MLB recap video where I'm going to be going over the best of Sunday slate. The Rays are going to win two games this weekend against the Yankees. The Yankees continue to leave guys in scoring position and just can't come up with timely hits if it's not Juan Soto or Aaron Judge. They're just not going to win. And going into the series against Tampa, it was reported that the Rays have been scouting the Yankees system extensively. The Yankees would have interest in available Rays such as Isak Paredes, Zach Eflin, maybe a Randy Arosa Reyna and Pete Fairbanks as well and the Yankees are going to have to do something because they lost to the Rays this year but the Rays it seems like they're kind of an in-between team where they could buy some pieces at the deadline but also could sell some pieces that are going to be free agents sooner than others and look for more controllable cost efficient options for their team and the Yankees they have Juan Soto they have Aaron Judge they have Garrett Cole some of the best of their positions and best in the game but the depth in the lineup is just not there they definitely need a third baseman they need some help in the infield, some help in the bullpen as well if they really want to be taken seriously late into October as a World Series contender. Jordan Alvarez hit what looked like an absolute bomb. This ball was killed. Even though it said it was only 384 feet, it hit off the side of like the second or third deck. And then later, he's going to complete the cycle. That's going to be the first cycle of Jordan's career. You think a power hitter like that isn't getting the triples usually, but he did have an RBI triple earlier. And then he gets the double here to complete the cycle. Sunday night baseball was filled with a ton of fireworks as the Dodgers hit a ton of homers and one of them was Shohei Otani going 473 feet with a 117 mile per hour exit velo for home run number 30 on the season. I just talked about what the Yankees are looking to do at this year's deadline and what they need to do, and the Dodgers, according to ESPN reporters like Alden Gonzalez, are expected to go for a big deadline. They're looking for a starting pitcher. Some of the names they could be looking at as have an interest in are Tarek Skubal, Jack Flaherty, Eric Fetty, Zach Eflin, Yusei Kikuchi, but Garrett Crochet is considered to be at top of the Dodgers list regardless of whether he's a starter or reliever the rest of the way because he's coming off that top. Tommy John surgery, and they're also eyeing Luis Robert Jr. on the same team, as well as another executive told Alden Gonzalez of ESPN, don't rule out Mason Miller as an option for the Dodgers. They could be looking to make a big swing, and Mason Miller would sure be a big swing at that. Jorge Soler in Coors Field is a recipe for success for his power bat. That's going to be a 478-foot bomb, which is the longest of the 2024 MLB season. And Hayden Birdsong racked up 12 Ks in Coors while getting 27 swing and misses one an outing from the young Giants pitcher. Jonah Heim's going to hit a three-run homer off Dean Kremer as the Rangers are going to be able to salvage this series. Anthony Santander, though, despite the loss, hit home run number 27 on the season. He has been ridiculous this year. Shota Imanaga, he pitched into the seventh inning, just allowed one run and fanned 10 batters. Seiya Suzuki tied the game up, and then Nico Horner is just going to have to watch a couple balls go by, as that's going to be a walk-off walk. The Cubs' late-game offense had been historically bad. They were getting destroyed offensively all series, but now they're going to be able to walk it off on Sunday. Seth Lugo is one of the better signings of this offseason, as he is a legit legitimate Cy Young contender. There's Scooble, there's Corbin Burns, and then Seth Lugo is right there with the Major League's best ERA right now as he throws a complete game, the American League's best ERA, I should say. Jazz Chisholm is going to hit a three-run homer off Christian Scott, and this will be a four-game series that concludes tomorrow, but the Mets have lost the first two out of three, and the Mets are reportedly trying to be buyers at this year's deadline, but if you're losing series like this about 10 days prior, then that's going to maybe complicate and some things in the wild card race. Michael King had it all working today. He threw six no hit innings before allowing a hit to start the seventh inning. But after losing the series opener out of the all star break, the Padres pitching leads them to a series win in Cleveland. George Springer hit an early leadoff homer, then in his second at bat in the bottom of the third, hits another two run homer. And the Blue Jays, they would lose that lead, but they would end up gaining it back and they would win this game against the Tigers. The 
Braves are going to lose this game, but they had a loss that was even worse than the game. As Ozzie Albies and an injury-riddled season for the team as a whole, Spencer Strider, Acuna, Michael Harris, and others, Austin Riley has been dealing with some stuff. Ozzie Albies will be out at least eight weeks with that wrist injury right there. That is not good. Of course, with everything going on in the country and in the news today, Nick Castellanos just has to hit a home run. Sports books were changing his odds from plus 600 to plus 400 before the game. And there was a reason why, because he went deep today. James Wood is going to come up with his most clutch moment of his career. That's going to be a go-ahead three-run homer. And the Nats are going to sweep the Reds outside of the All-Star break. Guys like Frankie Montas or Nick Martinez and pending free agents for the Reds can now be available at this year's trade deadline. The Brewers, I guess you can call it a little two-game sweep as they played a border battle in Target Field. Brewers Twins fans were packing the stadium and Reese Hoskins off Griffin Jacks on an 0-2 count. He's going to hit a go-ahead two-run homer. That is clutch off an elite, elite reliever. Here are the StatCast leaders of the day. That's the best of Sunday's action.